This lesson deals with supplemental problem 3.1. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 3 supplemental problems on page 1. Because we're given this circuit and we want to solve for node voltage V1, node voltage V2, and the current I sub X. Now if you know all the node voltages in a circuit, you can solve for any voltage or any current. In this case we only have two nodes, 1 and 2. So the current that's flowing in here would be this node voltage minus this node voltage divided by 4. So let's find those node voltages V1 and V2. In the chapter 3 notes, we had an inspection technique for forming node equations, so let's use that. Since I have two nodes, I'll form a blank 2 by 2 matrix, solving for V1 and V2, and a blank 2 rows, 1 column. On the left-hand side, that's where my sources are going to go. These are where the conductances are going to go. So let's take a look at node 1. We're going to sum the conductances at node 1 and put that in row 1, column 1. So it would be 1 quarter plus 1 quarter, and that's right here. And then between nodes 1 and 2, we have a 4 ohm resistor. So we're going to add up all of the conductances and then negate the sums. What goes in the left-hand side of the equation, this is going to be row 1, column 1, are the current sources entering node 1. 5 amps and 6 amps, so that would be a total of 11. Go to node 2, that's going to go into row 2, column 2. The sum of the conductances would be 1 half plus 1 quarter. Between nodes 2 and 1, it's going to go in row 2, column 1, and that's also going to be 1 quarter. We're going to negate that sum, so minus 1 quarter. The current sources entering are 3 amps and a minus 6 amps, a total of minus 3. Okay, let's combine those terms. A quarter plus a quarter is a half. Half plus a quarter is 3 quarters. And so we have a minus a quarter on each side. Now let's solve for a V1, which is associated with column 1. So what is it we use Kramer's rule? So we'll take the left-hand side of the equation and put it into column 1 and form that determinant and divide by the determinant of the conductance matrix. Okay, so I have 11 times 3 quarters, that's 8.25, and then a minus, a minus 3 times minus 0.25. So the two minus signs cancel, I have a third minus sign, so 0.75. That difference turns out to be 7.5. So I have 0.5 times 0.75, that's 0.375, and then minus this product, which is a minus 0 0.0625. That's 0.3125. And that ratio is 24 volts. To solve for node voltage 2, we'll take the left-hand side of the equation and put it into column 2, and then find that determinants. Half times minus 3 is minus 1.5, and, and then I have a minus this product. 2 minus signs cancel, and I get 0.25 times 11, and that's 2.75. The denominator is the same, so you just grab that value of 0.3125. And that ratio turns out to be 4 volts. So the current I sub x that we're trying to solve for is V1 minus V2 over 4, and that would be 24 minus 4 over 4, or 5 amps. And this is supplemental problem 3.1.